All right, so here's the gauges. Suction, pressure. Um, yeah, I don't have the uh, pressure hooked up. We just have the suction. Hooked up to the vacuum side. So basically what you're gonna do is, when you fire up the truck, like I say, your pump has to be empty. No water in it. Don't, don't engage your pump. All you gotta do is pull your primer. See my little marks there? That one there is for the 22 inches of mercury. And this will basically be for 12 inches of mercury. That's 10 inches. So you're gonna pull it down. So see, it's kinda hard on that master gauge to find 22 inches of mercury. Kinda ridiculous. Now, this gauge here will tell you exactly. This thing measures in uh, half pound increments. Um, so anyhow, you get to 22 inches of mercury here. Then you basically, uh, once you're done, you pull the primer till it pulls it down to there. When it stops, then you start the clock five minutes. If it don't pass this mark here, you're good. If it holds anywhere between here to there in five minutes, you're fine. If it goes beyond that, now you got to start looking. First place to look is while your pump's empty of water. Uh, just take a break. Um, you can open up the deluge gun, kind of let that that uh, vacuum of air off the pump and uh, let the truck sit for 10, 20, 30 minutes, whatever, and come back, open up your, uh, um, let's say you open up your, your two and a half inch intake here, see if any water comes out. No? Okay, you're good. Come over here to your uh, pump drain. Find your pump drain on your pump, pull it, see how much water runs out. You're gonna look up under the truck, you wanna get up under here and look, if a lot of water comes running out, let it all drain out. Make sure it's completely drained. Let the truck sit another little while, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes, whatever. Then go back, pull your pump drain again. If you pull that pump drain again and water's leaking, okay, generally you got, on this particular truck, there's three areas water can get from the tank into the pump. One's by the tank fuel recirculating line others by our jet dump, or others by our tank to pump. So basically you're gonna to to start a process elimination. In an in a ideal world, you can lower the level of the water in the tank till it gets below, let's say, let's say if this valve is up high on the tank and you can see it, once the water level drops below that valve, if, if you, you do your you know, wait time and see what happens, if no water gets back in the pump, then you know, okay, this is my valve that needs to be replaced. Find it, re rebuild it. If not, if you're still getting water in there, go to the next lowest one. Let's say it's this one. That one passes the test, then you're going to come down to your tank to pump. In this particular truck, this water's got a great old big valve. Um, it's a real pain in the rump to rebuild. Um, they claim it don't never go bad. Sorry waters but uh, this one has gone bad because we done rebuilt the jet dump and the uh, refill valve recirculating line and uh, neither one of those were bad but that sucker there is leaking and water still getting into the pump after we sit the truck here and the pumps bone dry so then what you're going to do is you got to figure out which valve it is and if all three of these are fine um, because we know this one to tank the pump is bad so we got to rebuild it but if all three of those are good, you're not getting any water into the pump. Okay, so now your pump's nice and bone dry. Now you gotta start checking out all these other ball valves. So that's where your glove test comes into play. But if, let's say you do all the two and a half inches around the truck, discharges and intakes, none of those leak. Now, then you can go to up here on like, here we got a couple of cross lays. It could be your cross lays leaking. Could be your booster reels leaking. Could be the deck gun up there is leaking. Um, you're going to have to check all of these until eventually you'll find which one's leaking. The glove test always works real good. Um, most of the time the gloves don't fit these ball valves on the cross lays because they're smaller lines. So uh, basically what you do is if you got water leaking up out of those ball valves, like if you take the hose off, uncap, you know, they're uncapped. If you see water seeping up out of those ball valves, and you know um, that's your problem, you got to rebuild those ball valves. So it's basically a process elimination. And if all that else, if all that else is everything's good, now we're gonna go to our pump packing. Our pump packing on this truck, we have 
pump back in on the front of the pump and the rear of the pump. And we're going to adjust that. Basically, you would know that if the water is just like steadily pouring out of the pump when it's running. I mean, a good stream. Then you got to, you're, so you know you're going to have air leaks there. So you need to go get your manual and start adjusting those pump packings per however the manual says. Um, this truck over here, um, this is a hail pump. It has mechanical seals. There's no, there's no adjusting to this. Basically, as long as they're not leaking, we're good. And this truck's um, over 10 years old. Never had any issues with them. They work great. Um, this one, this one uh, does have the packing in it that's adjustable. So if it is, that is our problem, we'll adjust those and fix that. And we should be good to go. Then when we're done with all that, we're pretty confident we'll drain the pump again. No water in it. Remember, never put your, never engage your pump. Just fire up your truck, turn the power on, pull your primer, pull it back down to to the 22 inches of mercury. Let it sit for five minutes. See what happens. If that needle don't move, or anyhow, or if it moves a little bit, but if it stays within that range, um, don't lose 10 pounds in five minutes. Okay, your truck's good to go. You should be able to go anywhere, draft anything without any problems. Um, generally, drafting. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you should be good to go.